Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to finally share with you how I achieve these big, bouncy, long-lasting, voluminous curls. I'm going to be sharing with you all of my tips and tricks, my favorite products to create volume and body, and how to ensure that your curls last for days, even through all this humidity. And for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you guys know that big, voluminous curls are my go-to for every day, and this is also the base for most of my updos. All right, enough chatting, let's get started. All right, so my hair is long, it's heavy, it lacks any volume, and it definitely takes some magic to transform it. And I noticed in the comments that a lot of you say that you have finer, thinner hair, and you want some tips on how you can add body to your hair. So there's these two products that have really helped to add volume and body into my hair. So I really wanted to share them with you and hopefully they will help you. So they're both from Aveda and no, this is not sponsored. I just really love these products. And the first one is their thickening tonic. So this just helps to thicken your strands. So I focus this mostly on the mid shafts and the end of my hair. Just a couple sprays, that's all you need. And then this one, this is my ultimate favorite product from them. It is their Pure Abundance Style Prep. I'm actually almost out, but this product adds so much volume and lift to your hair without leaving behind any residue. So just going to focus this all over my roots, mostly at the top of my head. Let me just massage them in, make sure they're everywhere. And then here in Toronto, it gets quite humid in the summertime. So this product right here really helps to prevent frizz. And it's the John Frieda Frizz Ease Extra Strength. This stuff works wonders against humidity. So I just do about one pump like this. Rub it between my palms. And then I really just focus this around my face and on my mid shafts basically anywhere that gets frizzy. All right, so hair is prepped. I do like to let it air dry to about, I don't know, like 80%. And then I just go in and I roughly blow dry it as fast as I possibly can. It's also very important to ensure that your hair is completely dry, especially at the roots or else you will get frizz. This happens to me a lot because I'm often in a rush. So this is what my hair looks like after it's blow dried. You can see how much volume those products have added. Sometimes I just leave my hair like this, but today we are going to be curling it. Oh, and really quickly, if you don't have any of these products, don't worry. I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks on how you can curl your hair to still create a lot of volume and have very long lasting curls. So let's move into it. So the key for voluminous, long-lasting curls is sectioning off your hair. I know you don't want to do it, but it's a must. So I'm just going to section off all of the hair that's above my ears. So for everyday curls, I switch between a one and a quarter inch barrel and a one and a half inch barrel. But today I am going to be using the one and a quarter inch just to create more defined curls. Now this curling iron is from T3, but I used to use an amazing one from Conair, but unfortunately it broke. So I decided to upgrade, but I will link it down below. All right, turn this on. I go to the second heat setting, but if your hair has a harder time holding a curl, you might want to pump up the heat a bit. So if your hair has a hard time holding a curl, I recommend applying a little bit of product before you curl it. You can go in with some light hold hairspray, just a really light spritz. Or I really love the way dry texture foam. I find this really allows my curls to last for days. It's awesome. You know, I'm gonna apply just a tiny amount. Oh, it smells heavenly. And just run it down your sections. So I like to work in about one inch sections. So I'm just gonna split this section into two. So hold the curling iron in the back so that the barrel is pointed forward. And you want your roots to round upward. So place your barrel close to your head, be very careful, and just clamp it down and hold it for a couple seconds and this will help create some really nice volume at the root. And I'm just gonna curl all of my hair away from my face. So I hold it for about five seconds and then you just wanna try to catch it in your hand. 
All right, if you're short on time, you can just squeeze the curl in your hand as it cools just to help it set. But if you want a lot of volume, then what you want to do is clip it. It makes such a difference. So I like to use these alligator clips that are toothless and you could also use bobby pins. But you just want to roll up your curl, keep it in a circular shape, roll it up to your head, keep it nice and tight. And then you want to over direct your roots upwards and then just clip it right to your head. So it's almost as if we have a roller in our hair, except we don't. All right, so same thing with the back section. I'm gonna go in and place my iron as close to my head as I can, being very careful. I'm just gonna close that clamp to round the root. And then I'm just gonna curl all of my hair away from my face. Hold for five seconds and catch that curl. And then just clip it right to your head. Okay, I'm gonna show you on this side, it might be easier to see. So go in, open barrel, nice and close to the root, keeping the wand horizontal. Clamp down and just round out that root. Just twist your wrist. See that volume it created right there? And it's gonna come in from the back and wrap it away from my face. Okay, I wanna show you what happens if you drop your curl, because it happens to me all the time. So what I like to do is take my index finger. I'm just going to Put it up the middle of the curl like that and then shape it into a circle and clip it to your head. So first section done. It's very quick once you get the hang of it. I promise you this actually feels really good. It's getting hot in here, but I'm just going to go ahead and unclip my hair and then section in all the hair that's above my temples away. All right, so this next section, same as before, hold your on horizontal and I'm just going to clamp it really close to the root. Rotate that wrist that volume it created, come in from the back and wrap it away from my face. I'm gonna slide my thumb through there, roll it up, over direct those roots upwards and clip her into place. All right, so I'm just gonna continue curling the rest of this section and I do wanna note that I like to keep my barrel open when I'm wrapping my hair because I find if you close it that sometimes you will get a kink. Okay, so for my part, I'm actually not going to make it quite as deep as I usually do. That way when I'm finished, I can flip my hair over and there's even more volume. I love doing that. You will see. So I'm just going to part it and this will be my final section on this side. All right, so once you get to your part, it's the same technique except you really want to make sure that you're over directing your root so pin your curl as close to your part as you can oh and please know i am taking my time for you guys today and you do not have to do this many sections mostly on a day-to-day -day, i do a lot less but if you do more then it's going to come out more defined and curlier it's up to you and then for the top section you just want to continue working in horizontal sections towards your part and for my bangs, same as always, I'm just going to curl them away from my face. And then I like to just clip them off to the side in the direction that they lay. All right, I'm gonna spray a very light spray of light hold hairspray. You don't wanna weigh these curls down. All right, so you want to leave this in as long as you can. The longer, the better, trust me. But sometimes I only have five minutes and sometimes I have an hour. Usually I'll do my hair and then I let it set and then I do my makeup, but my makeup's already done. So I'm going to go have some lunch and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes. I actually stood under my air conditioner to speed up the cooling process, but it's time to unclip all of the clips. So I like to start the bottom since those are the ones that we clipped first and then I just carefully work my way up to the top but when you're removing your clips you just want to be careful that you're keeping your curls intact sometimes I miss a few clips so always double check look how sharp my hair looks I love it anyways use your fingers or a wide tooth comb and just gently brush out the curls just don't use a hairbrush or you'll ruin them completely I just use my fingers and there we have it, big, bouncy, voluminous curls. And they'll obviously drop throughout the day as well. I love the way that these came out. I think they look so beautiful. And I know that painting your curls might seem like a lot of extra work. It is, but I'm just kidding. But it's totally worth it, especially if you have like a special event and you want your hair to just last all night long, then I highly recommend clip 
those curls. But I really hope that you found some of my tips helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and definitely leave a comment if you have any tips on getting big, voluminous, long-lasting, bouncy curls. I would love to hear them and I'm sure they'll help somebody out. But thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye!